Do you ever walk into your kitchen and just pass by a bunch of things, kind of roll your eyes and then right fill around and try to find what you really need? If that happens to you, it probably means that there are things in your kitchen that you could totally get rid of. And the reason I know this is because I recently did it and I got rid of about 40% of the garbage in my kitchen that I just wasn't using. So this week I wanted to do a 10 things to toss video, but a kitchen edition. That way by the time you're done this video, you can go to your kitchen, spend a few minutes, get rid of all the things we're talking about, and you'll see you will feel much better too. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you have at least one thing that you can get rid of from your kitchen. First up, what about cheesy or promotional or useless magnets? Back in the 80s, my mom would collect magnets with like bakery phone numbers on them. We don't need that anymore because internet. So any promotional magnets that you have, get rid of them. Now, if there is a magnet that you actually use, like this one here is a conversion chart, I hang on to that one because it actually serves a purpose. But anything else, like if it's, you know, a bit of a chachka that your friend brought you back from a trip, you probably don't need it and it's creating vis visual clutter on your fridge. What we do, we have these little magnets, they're tiny, they're streamlined, and they're super powerful, and we only put things on our fridge that we actually need. Do you notice that whenever you order takeout, they give you a takeout menu? It's like, I know about the pizza. I don't need a takeout menu, but there it is. And then you stick it in a drawer. I might need that for later. And then you get a coupon in the mail for a dollar off a hamburger. So what ends up happening is you get a big old pile of flyers and takeout menus. And you think one day I'm gonna use that. Well, again, guys, let me remind you, internet, you can find all of that stuff online. And there are lots of apps that will share with you the latest and greatest coupons. But let's say you get one that you really wanna use, just clip it out and stick it in your wallet and get rid of all the rest of the paper. One thing that you can do if you're getting a lot of junk mail is you can request for your mail carrier not to put any junk mail in your box anymore and that will save a lot of this. I've talked about getting rid of old containers before but this is a next level conversation we need to have because let's say you've gotten rid of all your plastic containers like we have here. We've moved on to glass containers but with that comes a whole other challenge because whenever you finish a jar of something you always think I could reuse that and that's happened to me and then I've lost the lid and it still sits there because maybe one day I'll find the lid I'm not gonna find that lid so this needs to go into the recycling bin now this was brought to us by Luke who works with us as our executive producer as a lot of you guys know this is the lid to this container that this guy has had hanging around for I don't know 15 years so today when he brought this, I said, Luke, we are going to recycle this once the video's over. So if you have anything that's sort of busted or smelly or not quite functioning anymore, it is time to part ways with it, especially when it comes to glass jars that are heavy and take up a lot of space. What about those half used or three quarters used sauces or other random things that you find in your fridge that you kind of like, kind of don't like, and just kind of sit there because maybe you'll use them one day. Well, you're not going to because if you liked it, you would have gone through it already. So go through the fridge and pull out anything that's just kind of on its last leg or expired dump it out safely and appropriately, and then you can recycle the bottles. When you're ready to cook something, you want access to your small appliances that you actually use, like my spiralizer, which I use all the time. And I don't wanna to have to dig through things that I never touch, like a pasta baker or a small little blender like this magic bullet here. If you go through your kitchen and you find that you have these small appliances that you haven't used in a year, because let's be honest, some things you're only gonna use once a year, it's time to move on from it. There's no need to keep it. You're probably not gonna find a use for it anytime soon, and someone else will probably benefit from it more than you would. When you open your drawer to grab a tea towel, which is what we call them in Canada, or a dish towel, you'll probably find some that are stained or have holes in them or just look beat up and you don't need those ones anymore. So go through that drawer and pull out anything that's not looking so hot or fresh. And what we've done is replaced all of ours with our Maker's Cleaning Cloths, our Waffle Weave Tea Towels. They're so absorbent, they're so amazing, and they're actually our best-selling single-pack cloths. You can find more about this at makersclean.com. But aside from that, the idea here, guys, is to go through, get rid of all those old dish towels, only have the pretty and nice ones that actually work and serve their purpose. Before Chad started working with me at Clean My Space, he actually had a job. And every year they had this golf tournament and he would bring me back something from the golf tournament every year because 
He's so nice and thoughtful. He made me say that. Just wanted me to clarify that for you guys. And he would always bring me back a Williams Sonoma cookbook. This was a thing that he got every single year. And he was very thoughtful. The recipes look great, but you know what? I'm never gonna make them. They're very complex, they take a lot of time, and it's just not my style of cooking. And look at the size of these books, they're huge. I think we have about five of them. So cookbooks take up a lot of space, and while you might feel that the recipes look amazing and they're aspirational, and one day if you have time on a Sunday, you'll cook something, if you haven't used it yet, you're probably not going to use it. So find the cookbooks that you don't use, save some space, and get rid of them. We don't order takeout that often, but when we do, we used to put all of the extra ketchup packets, little soy sauce packets, mustard, relish, sweet and sour sauce, pizza dipping sauce, chopsticks, plastic cutlery in this drawer. And when I told you guys I went through and cleaned out the kitchen, it all left. I got rid of all of it. You know why? I have soy sauce in the fridge. I got ketchup. I got dipping sauce. It's all there. So if I want it, I know where to find it. I don't need the packets. So if you are ordering takeout and you know that you don't want to have that stuff cluttering it up and you're bringing it home, perhaps just let them know I don't need the cutlery. I don't need the little packets. You guys know that I like to cook and because of that, I collect myself a few spices here and there. And sometimes I'll go a little bit on edge and I'll pick something up that I think I'm gonna use, but I never actually end up using. I mean, who needs 450 bay leaves? Not me. And this nutmeg, I think I bought a year ago. And I have every intention of using it because I love nutmeg, but seriously, it's probably expired. That's how old it is and nutmeg's not supposed to expire. So go through your spice drawer, pick out anything that is old, lost its flavor, doesn't really have that same pungent smell anymore. Typically you're supposed to keep spices for about six to 12 months and then get some new ones. When friends or family travel, they always kindly bring you back a souvenir. It might be a magnet or it might be a shot glass. And while you're really happy for them that they went on that trip and it sounded amazing, do you really need that shot glass? I don't know. For me personally, when I think about shot glasses, it reminds me of when I was 19 and going to nightclubs. When I'm at home, if I'm having a drink, I'm having it out of a nice rocks glass and I don't know, it just kind of saves space, let's be honest. I mean, these guys, they're cute if you actually have a dedicated collection, let's say in a bar or a man cave, but if you just need to find a place to stick them in the kitchen, they're probably not worth hanging around. So go find yourself those random shot glasses and give them a new home. Okay guys, so I'm gonna challenge you. Give yourself 15 minutes on the clock, go through your kitchen and get rid of these 10 things. And I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is the biggest clutter culprit in your kitchen? Perhaps we'll make another video about this because you know, everybody needs a cleaner kitchen. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about our microfiber cloths, you can visit cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.